Friday, Friday workshop. workshop. What are we doing this week? This week we're doing a Jello and food coloring stain. <laughs> Cause it's St. Patty's Day. It's St. Patty's Day, so we're seeing if we can stain plywood green. So here we go. Well, first up is food coloring. <laughs> can you stain wood with food coloring? Well, we're gonna find out. What we're gonna look for is like a really vibrant color. I'm gonna pour a lot in here. I guess not a lot, there's a few drops. Mix that up. And that is a dark, dark color right there. Look at that, look at that. And so I'm just gonna stain this side of the wood. So the problem with this really thin stain right here is that it goes on so thin, it reminds me of like an oil-based stain. Even though this is water-based, the water-based stains are really, really thick when you get to staining uh, wood material. But this is starting to look really good. I'm just pouring a lot on here. We're gonna let that dry and then we're gonna wipe it off. All right, here we go. We're gonna wipe this off here. Oh, well this. I mean, yeah, it's greener. Um, maybe let it dry and we'll see if it whitens up a little bit, but um, it's really not that much greener. Um, kind of bummed with how that turned out actually. Food coloring, not the greatest. It'll give it a, a hint of color. Next up, Jello. Yeah. All right, let's pour this thing in. So when we did Kool-Aid, a very interesting thing happened. It wasn't as dark as we thought it'd be. I wonder if it would be the same like with this Jello, not be as dark as we think it's gonna be. So let's find out. Oh man, I can smell the lime. We cannot smell the food coloring, but I can smell this lime. Oh man, <laughs> it smells good. All right, now time to spread this. This is a much different color than that one. <laughs> All right, and now we're gonna go ahead and let this dry and then we'll be back to wipe it off. Let's wipe it off. I need the second rag. <laughs> what that looks like. Not noticing much of a change, but look at we'll, we'll let it sit a little bit longer and we'll look at it in the outro. Look at that. <laughs> look at that. Okay. So uh, the center obviously had tape on it. This side is the food coloring, that side is the jello. So the jello did somewhat tinge it a little green. What do you think? It, it just looks tan to me. It, it, <laughs> it's, it, it did change it just a little, though. Just a little. Yeah. I, I'm surprised by the food coloring, though. It turned out really well. It was Holy cow. It was horrible as soon as we wiped it off. It, horrible. It dried darker, you know? <laughs> like, I was just like, what? Um, but yeah, it's a, um, it's a really pretty green right now. Um, with the food coloring, you can actually put more than one coat on it as well. The Jello, it's just gonna mostly wipe off. Once you get this color, you're pretty much set. Uh, but with the uh, with the food coloring, you can add another coat, make it even darker. Um, this is just off of that little bit, so that's not bad at all. Yeah, turned out pretty well. Um, yeah, I'm super excited about it. Um, I like this project and um, this is how you can uh, stain wood with some natural things around your house. So if you like videos like these, you should check out this one, like and subscribe.